Ladies and gentlemen, I like to do a series on this channel that I called This Week in Call of Duty. Now, I don't make it every single week, but when something big happens, I do. And I consider this very, very big, but no one's talking about it. And that is the fact that Call of Duty is going free to play. If you didn't know, it's happening, at least kind of, due to Microsoft and the re recent acquisition of Activision Blizzard. And in this video, I'm going to explain what's going on with this, what it means for Call of Duty, how it's actually going to work. It is very confusing, but you do have to read between the lines a little bit to see what is going on here. I actually called this two months ago, and again, you'll see what I mean by that. But while we're talking about free things, let me tell you about today's video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Outplayed, and this one is specifically for content creators or just some people who want the clips of their favorite games that they play. Now, Outplayed, you can check it out. First link down below. It is an absolutely free app, and what it does is immediately clip your best moments from in-game, whether you're playing Apex Legends or Call of Duty. If you get a bunch of headshots, a bunch of kills, or something really cool happens in-game, it's going to automatically take your favorite clips. You can go inside the app, edit it, and immediately upload it to whatever apps you want, whether that be YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, or anything in between. So if you want some awesome clips of the games that you're playing, click the first link down below, and thank you, Outplayed, for sponsoring the video. So I have seen this trend recently within video games. And when it comes to this, I've seen a lot of AAA games get released 70 plus dollars, just like Call of Duty, sometimes upwards of $100 if you're buying the big bundle and they flop. Recent ones that come to mind include Suicide Squad. We have the Skull and Bones from Ubisoft. They come out, everyone hates them, but the games that have been succeeding are these games that are like $30. Pal World comes to mind, $35. Hell Divers comes to mind. They might even be cheaper where you live. And these games essentially come out, they're a reasonable price, people tell their friends about them, their friends buy the game, they play together, and the game blows up, blows up, blows up, until there's astronomical numbers. They're the top selling games and they are huge, yet they're not $70 like we've become accustomed to. They're not hundreds of dollars like we've become accustomed to. They are reasonable prices. and it's strange for me to see that because recently in Call of Duty, they put out a bundle, a bundle. These are literally cosmetic items that was 3,400 COD points. If you don't know the price of that, it's about $34 American. You can buy full games for that price and you have to pay for Call of Duty, not Warzone, but Call of Duty. It's insane. So over the past couple of weeks, we have seen news as to what Microsoft's plans are for Call of Duty moving forward. Spoiler, they're going free to play, kind of. So what do I mean by this? A couple of months ago, I tweeted out something stating that I thought Microsoft, when they bought Activision Blizzard, was going to make Call of Duty free to play. And there was reasoning for this, and it had to do with the pre-order bonus that was leaked for the next Call of Duty game, Call of Duty 2024 or Black Ops Gulf War. And when it comes to this game, they stated that you were going to have early access to zombies weeks before the release of the game. And this was really, really weird. We have never seen that. We saw weak early access to the campaign, but zombies, a multiplayer portion of it, that is very, very strange. And it got me questioning why they would do that. And then I remembered Xbox has this little thing called Game Pass, which, by the way, about a week ago, we found out the numbers for that. There's about 34 million subscribers to Game Pass which is a very high number. So we then got a statement later on this weekend from Phil Spencer, and it said this. Microsoft has yet to say when Call of Duty will be added to its Game Pass subscription service, but the flagship Activision Blizzard franchise is still coming, Phil Spencer tells me. Our intent is the full portfolio of games from ZeniMax, Activision Blizzard, and Xbox Game Studios will be on Game Pass day one. So there are two parts to that. There's the old Call of Duty games, and there are the new Call of Duty games. As far as the old Call of Duty games, when Microsoft bought Activision Blizzard, everyone assumed one of the big reasons why is Call of Duty comes out with a game every single year. And if you go to GameStop, if you go to Best Buy, some of those games that came out like five years ago are still like $60, $70 if you want to buy a box of it, which doesn't make any sense to me, but it's a thing. So to add all of these Call of Duty games to the Xbox Game Pass, you could have access to every single Call of Duty game ever released for a monthly subscription service. Now, this is where the free to play part comes in. It's not technically free to play. I didn't want to clickbait you, but here's how I look at it. 
When I go to the movie theater and watch a movie there, I have paid for that movie. In fact, they're very expensive now. Very, very expensive. But if I have access to Netflix and I watch a movie on there, I consider it free. Yes, I'm paying for the monthly service, but it's a lot cheaper and I get access to everything else as well. So I'm paying for the service. I consider this stuff on it free. Yeah, maybe my thought process is wrong, but let's be honest. I wanted some people to watch this video. So what they are stating here is that any of these Microsoft games that come out, so any Call of Duty, any new Diablo thing, they want it day one on Game Pass so that these 34 million subscribers will go on, play those games and have more bang for their buck for the subscription service that they are paying for. That's cool. That is awesome. They have also agreed because this is the last year of the PlayStation exclusivity agreement this year, Modern Warfare 3. Going into the next year, Xbox owns that exclusivity. However, they signed documents saying everything is going to come out at the same time on PlayStation, Xbox, and even Nintendo. Wherever you play, their games will be available there. I don't know how the Nintendo one is going to work, but apparently it is going to. So everything is coming out at the same time on everything. But on top of that, they're stating that there's going to be this two week early play period for zombies. So how is that going to work? Well, if we're being thoughtful about it, Game Pass will be free. But if you want to play the game early, you have to pre-order it and probably pre-order the Vault Edition, which is like $100. So you'll be able to do this on all of the consoles on PC, but you could also wait and play it for free with Game Pass but you won't get that early access. This is not confirmed, by the way. This is just what I'm speculating. And that is what we have kind of seen before. If you don't pre-order it, you don't get the early access, and that kind of sucks. But this is the shady part of this. Say, for example, you are a Game Pass subscriber. If you have Game Pass, do you get early access? The answer to that is probably not. So what they are doing is trying to get you to subscribe to Game Pass and buy the game for full price because then you're getting like the kind of double dipping effect. Now, a better way to do this, and they won't do this because I think this would come across as shady, even though I think this will be better with their act than they're, what they're actually going to do. If you had Game Pass and you wanted the early access, let's say you could pay 10 extra dollars to get that early access two weeks early. That would be less shady. If they gave it for free with Game Pass, that would be the best possible solution. But let's be honest, that's probably not gonna happen. On top of that, with Game Pass, you're probably not gonna get access to those skins, the battle pass, and anything like that. Whereas if you pre-order it, you'll probably get the battle pass, the tier skips, the early access, everything else like that. So they're trying to get you to get Game Pass with the old Call of Duty games, have day one access, but also get you to buy the new game with these pre-order bonuses. That is my guess as to what's going on here. Keep in mind, Black Ops Golf War hasn't even been announced yet. Just based off of all of the information that we've been given, that is what I am seeing with this. So going back to, is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing? I think putting Call of Duty on Game Pass will spike the player base a lot. I think a lot of people don't play Call of Duty because of that 70 plus dollar price tag. Lots of people play Warzone, but I don't think a lot of people play Call of Duty. Remember that massive spike of players Call of Duty got when Warzone originally came out? Imagine if they did that with multiplayer. It would go gangbusters. But then that leaves the question, what do they do with microtransactions? Well, we know the answer to that. We recently saw that Activision put in a bundle within Modern Warfare 3 for 3,400 COD points. I truly believe that this was a test. Their statement on it is, oops, we made a mistake. This bundle was actually supposed to be 2,400 COD points. But in reality, I think they were putting that number out there just to see how many people would buy it and test the waters on what they can push their limits on on microtransaction. Because keep in mind, they have numbers as to how many people buy them, where is the best price point, where they're going to sell the most, where they're going to make the most money. Here's my thought. I honestly think the way that Call of Duty would make the most money, and this is what we've seen recently, is... If it was free to play or even cheaper, say the game Call of Duty comes out and it is $30, just like we saw with Pal World, just like we saw with Helldivers. Those are the games that have sold the most and they are half price of AAA titles. If it came out at that price or free to play and they made their microtransactions cheap, 
I think they would make so much more money because I don't buy bundles. I think it's ridiculous that I'm buying something for $25 when I could literally go out for dinner for that price, maybe even twice if I go to somewhere cheap. And people are buying multiples of these a week. But I think if these were like $5, $10, maybe even $15, Sometimes I could justify getting these, especially if the game was cheaper or free. And I think that's how Call of Duty would make more money because we've seen it with Fortnite. The game comes out for free. The player base is very high. They release reasonably priced microtransactions because more people are playing it. More people buy it. More money in their pockets and even more money in the player's pockets. Everyone is happy because I don't think the trick to making more money is having a higher price tag. I think the trick to making more money is have more people buy things. And with Call of Duty, Call of Duty is no longer just a you buy it, you get the game, maybe you buy some DLC to get the extra content. Call of Duty is now a games as a service. It is not just what's in the box is what you get. Call of Duty six months after launch is a completely different game than when it actually launches. And that is what it is. And to me, games that do best as games as a service are often free to play games which is very weird and i don't know technically if it would be a good thing if call of duty went free to play because they might even get more egregious or pay to win with their microtransactions but this year is going to be interesting because to see what the player base is like even with this being on game pass remember those 34 million users that are on xbox game pass say just like 25 percent go on it daily weekly that is a huge boost to the amount of people playing call of duty and i think people will get game pass just to play call of duty it's just how that pre-order is going to work that is going to be interesting so hopefully i was able to describe this well for you um there was a lot revolving around it many moving parts but i tried to get all of the ideas thoughts and my opinions out there and if you enjoy these type of ranty news style videos be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn notifications on as always thank you so much for watching and until next time peace we are we are